Yo, what's up? This is the Young Disciple, the Soldier, coming to you live here on YouTube. And um, I ask you, Lord Father, Heavenly Father, forgive us for our sins, known and unknown, and cleanse us and wash us in your holy and pure blood, Lord God. You are the only one that could take away the sins of the world. And I was listening to Brother Wally's message about stuck in time. And what really hit me was another brother in Christ. <clears throat> now, this is very, uh, I'm going to be up front. He mentions about a vein in, in a male's testicle and it, and it runs all the way to the heart. And I said to the Lord, I said, forgive me, God, for all the times I've committed a sin against my own body. For I did not know that that vein ran straight to my heart. Lord, forgive me. And then, and then I thought as, as he was talking in the message and he was talking about the thief on the cross and how like he deserved to be there. And by like all means, I mean, he deserved to be on that cross. But yet when he looked over to God and he said to Jesus, he said, um, if you would for forgive me to this day. I could be with you in paradise and it just hit me so hard like I, I i couldn't hold it in i was like here you have somebody who deserves this punishment but yet god is so faithful he said to him he said yes to this day you will be with me in paradise and i couldn't even like hold that in like to fathom imagining imagining you're looking at an innocent man dying with you but you're not innocent and he's just like i i know to this day you will be with me and i hit me hard i was like wow god is amazing to see that his love is more righteous see peter was like when they were coming to get the lord and he knew that he was gonna go be crucified for the sins of the world peter tried to slice off the ear of one of the roman uh soldiers but god said to peter put your sword away and he said get behind me satan because when jesus christ was here on the earth two thousand years ago when jesus christ was here on the earth two thousand years ago his main mission was to abolish the sins of the world. His main mission was to go to war with the grave. His main mission was to take back those captive by Satan. His main mission and main purpose was to destroy the devil with the pure righteous blood when it dripped down and dropped into the soil. Did you know that Adam was created from the earth? So when God's blood dripped down and dropped into the soil of the earth, it cleansed all the unrighteous, filthy blood that was shed upon the earth because his blood was so righteous. It covered the sins of the entire world. For those that believe, that's called power. That's called might. That's why you say Jesus Christ Almighty God, because you can't you can't fathom what it is to be in perfect communion with God and then at that very second like to be forsook and forsaken and to be like legitimately like God turned his face like ah, I can't see this like I couldn't even understand like to be so good you know and then at that moment in time, you just like are just there, just ashamed. But yet you've done no wrong, but you're just there, just hanging in shame, just like, but you know, this is what it is for. And even in the garden of Gethsemane, the Lord said, if it be thy will, let this cup be removed from me. But it was ultimately ordained and Jesus knew. He said, he said, I must, I must, I must, I must take this cup. And he did. 
And it was like that message spoke to me because the thief on the cross, he deserved to go to the he deserved to go to hell. And he and he deserved it because he was most likely unrighteous. And it wasn't that look, like I've I've said some things that God has allowed me to do, but look, I'm I'm not I, I know that it's wrong. Like you should not steal. It's a it's it's a it's a command. Like we should want to do right. And, and and the thing is, is that we aren't supposed to, we aren't supposed to be like the world. So if you're if you're if you're struggling in sin, I remember this stuck this stuck with me from Brother Wally. He said, maybe what it really is, is that you don't love Jesus enough, or you don't love Jesus enough yet. Cause if you think about it. If you truly love God and you truly love Jesus Christ and you truly, truly, truly with a sincere heart, just want to be right with God, you would try everything in your power to be the most pure you could be. Not because you want people to be like, yeah, he's super duper righteous. Nah, because at the end of the day, who cares what anyone else thinks? Because if you're not right with God, who cares if you're it, it, who cares what anyone thinks about you? First of all, you're not even right with God. So who cares? But legit, like God spoke to me, he said, you see, when you're right with me. I can move a mountain through you by your faith. I can see that through me. I can utilize you to reach and I can utilize you kind of like when he used Noah to build the ark. It was to preserve the seed because ultimately in the time of humanity, we've had a sin problem, which is this problem is caused many to perish and go to hell. That's why when I was listening to the message about the thief on the cross, because of the sin problem, it stuck to me. I was like, what an honor. I mean, here you are. This is a shameful thing to be, uh, to be, um, to be, to be, um, nailed to a cross. But yet, Jesus Christ looked over and was like, "This day, you will be with me in paradise." I was like, "What? This is so amazing!" Like, by all means, like, he didn't. He didn't. You know, I don't know. It's just like, wow, how great, how great is that? You know, like that's so amazing. And, 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 I, and, I, and I, I'm trying to find it where it is because I want to read it. It's so awesome. It really is, though. You have to admit, like. I mean, think about it. Here he is, Jesus, like performing all these miracles and doing all these things that are so great. And, 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 in, and in Mark 15, uh, uh, verse 13, and they cried out again, crucify him. And then Pilate said unto them, why? What evil has he done? And they cried out the more exceedingly, crucify him. You see, that's why in the book, the word of God, it says, who is your first love? Who loved you first? Who loved you before you loved them? Not your mother and not your father, but God, your heavenly father. He loved you before you loved him. But yet they cried out more exceedingly, crucify him. That's why it was so amazing. The thief on the cross. He was a sinner. And he deserved to go to hell. He deserved it. He deserved it. And God said. You know. You deserve this. You really do. But yet. I forgive you. And God dealt with me. He said. I put a lot of things in your life. You said you wanted to be like me. 
I put a lot of things in your life to see if you'll act like me when these things arise. And I said, man, the hardest thing to do is to forgive someone that does you wrong. Honestly, it's freaking hard. Because it's not easy. You just, it's like it goes against, it goes against your entire fleshly desire to want to like forgive. But yet, in the forgiveness of of the blood of God through Jesus Christ, we were we we're, we're grafted we're grafted in, you know. And in uh in Luke, uh chapter twenty three, uh verse uh twenty two uh twenty two, and it said uh, Pilate therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them. Pilate was willing to release him. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. But you understand, right? The devil was in, inside of their heart. The, the devil was operating in them. They did not want to see. They did not want to see him chastised. Nah, they wanted to see him crucified. That's what they wanted. I'm really trying to find the part about the thief. That 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 part is so amazing. Honestly, I love it so much. It's such amazing. It's such an amazing thing. Like, think about it. Really think about it though. Here you are. You're just there, you know. You deserve it by all means. You really do. Man. I really wish I knew where it was. This is why studying your Bible is important for times like this. Now, I'm not going to be like, I'm like super duper. Like, you know, know everything. But uh, let's see. I think I maybe know where it is. Now, there was a vessel. Yeah. Man, it's gotta be, it's gotta be somewhere in here, but I'm probably gonna find it afterwards and I'm gonna post it in the comment. It's amazing though, right? It really is. Hmm, maybe it's in. Hmm, I know it's I know it's in here, you know. Obviously, I mean, that's just obvious. Ah, I found it! I found it! I found it! Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. I love this so much. I love it. I love it. Y'all ready for this? This is my favorite. Bro, this is so real. This made me want to cry. I love it so much. All right. This is, uh. Bro, this is, uh, all right. So we're in chapter 23, right? And so it said one of the, this is verse 39. And it said, one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Does not thou fear God, saying thou art in the same condemnation? You're here hanging on the cross, and you're trying to mock? Stupid. And we indeed justly, for we receive due reward of our deeds, but this man have done nothing amiss. This man has done nothing wrong, but we are here when we deserve this. And you're, and, and who are you to mock? And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. 
And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. What's it like to forgive? Maybe we should ask God. Because one of them was mocking, but the other one said, If only today, if you will remember me, I could be with you in paradise. If only today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, but just today, right now, in this very minute, just remember me right now. In Jesus' name, be blessed.